Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT. Yo. We make light of a lot of things, but I'm going to bring up something that I thought was wild as hell. And the thing, part of the reason I think it's wild as hell is I haven't heard a lot about it. Like, it's, it seems like it would be a way bigger story than it is. Yeah. But I haven't heard a lot about it otherwise. About the, the, the U.S. Armed Forces guy who set himself on fire in front of the Israeli consulate screaming, like, free Palestine. Yeah. yeah and, yeah. like, he ended up dying or whatever, you know, like... He, but he set himself on fire, but like it doesn't seem to be getting much coverage by the news or like anything like that. And it, you know, it's reminiscent of like remember the monk from the the famous picture of the monk back in the day on fire. Like in, I don't even remember when that was or for what war it was for. Or like whatever, very similar thing. He obviously is against the war. I'm not going to get. Into, it's not about the war. I'm not getting into that. We're not okay. So I don't want to dig into like. I, I was going to ask you where you stood. I, I, like no, I don't, I'm not going to get into like the political part of it. I want to talk about setting yourself on fire. All right. Well, let's start out with giving Airman Aaron Bushnell, you know, the the, the reference that he deserves. You know. Uh, okay. I mean, some people think he doesn't deserve any reference. Apparently, right? he, uh, you know, he he believed in what he believed in, and he took the measures that he took in order to convey that message. And I cannot tell a person how to react. I cannot tell a person how to act. Uh, I don't necessarily have to agree with how a person acts or how a person reacts, but I respect him as a man. And he has more resolve and more conviction than I ever will. I will tell you one thing. There is nothing on this earth that I care about enough to set myself on fire for. Imagine if you found that thing. Right, well, yeah, right? Like, that's the thing. It's like, like the thought of setting myself on fire for anything, I'm mm -hmm. like, never. It's like uh, there's there's a couple of ways to look at it, and I feel like generally a person is going to look at it like I would never do that. I would never do that. Um, I I have to think it's like it's it's almost it is almost it's scary. Obviously, it's scary to think this that there is something out there that a person can believe in so much that they would go to that length. And I think that the fact that the majority of us ha that have not found that in our lives. We, we just can't even wrap our head around it. Cannot fathom doing that. Yeah. No. So when I saw it happen, I was like, oh, brother really cares about this ish. Right. And, oh, absolutely. And, obviously. And, and it's like, uh, uh, how, do I, how do I say this? I was almost envious of the fact that he had found something that he cared about that much. So passionate about. Because, like, it's like what? Like a father and their children. Like a, a father and their daughter. I feel like... Right, a, like a, a, a father would run into a burning building and ca catch himself on fire to save his kids. Like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like, exactly. But I don't know if a father is going to set himself on fire. And, Not on purpose, but, like, no. he would burn in a fire to get his kids out. Yeah. But, like, I just... It... I can't fathom it. Like, hmm? and people probably are saying a lot of things if he was crazy, like whatever. But I yeah, don't think I, it, it know, has to do with mental state. My, I believe that that mental health definitely uh, played a part in it, but that doesn't really change. Uh, it doesn't really change the the fact of that he found something that he was that passionate about. I'll admit that having a a weakened mental state, you know, uh, or whatever the case may be in in this uh, in this instance. It could definitely make it so that you're more susceptible to finding something that you care that much about. But still, I feel like the uh, the emotion, the infatuation. Well, it's like there's been a lot of true. really big moments in history, like civil rights, abortion, very hot topic items. Yeah. And you never see those activists set themselves on fire for that. No, I mean, it, this this isn't like a new thing, though. We've seen this happen no, a I mean, couple times. No, it's time. happened before, right? Yeah, 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 for sure. And it's always for, it's generally like one of those things that is like an activist type of thing, too. Well, I mean, he he's essentially, he will be, he is now a symbol of the fight against the war. Yeah. Like, he is a martyr in a sense that people are like, Let's be like him. Not let's be like him, but let's respect him for what he did because he stood up for this thing, right? Like, but still, there's some major stuff going on, like, 
they ended slavery. Ain't no, nobody was setting themselves on fire being like, we shouldn't have slaves. No. And I feel like that's a really big deal too, right? Like, Not that, not that we know of, at least. Well, I mean, yeah, right? I'm sure maybe. That might have yeah. been before that uh, that act was popularized. Yeah, I feel I like know. that was... Po- I feel like... Okay, I don't really know the, the history of self-immolation because I've been reading books on it. Um, not really looking to pick that hobby up. Uh, but I imagine that it started with like the uh, the t- it feels like a Tibetan monk type well, yeah, of thing. In 1963, that was the monk that set himself on fire in protest of, the Viet- of Vietnam. I don't know if it was Vietnam War. Uh, Vietnamese leader No Ding Diem. Within a few years, dozens more have killed themselves the same way. Like so, see, it was like back so, then. That was in 1963. And seeing that, that wasn't that that wasn't that long ago for one thing, and that's like at before. The Civil or after the Civil War, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's, that that's was pre- like after World War Two. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty far after the Civil War. So yeah, that's interesting that uh, it started in 1963. I mean, I, I'm sure someone did it before then, but that was like that's the infamous yeah. picture of like the yeah. monk in the street on fire. You know, like it's just it's wow, man. I yeah, and and you know what, Jonas? I don't know if it's just the fact that I'm pussy. Or if it's the fact that I I just I care about living too much. It's Dude, just, that's a really awful way to go. Like b- b- being burnt alive. Yeah, that's not that's wild. It makes you it makes you want to take a serious look at at some of the uh, the goings on because I I'll, I'll admit that I've kind of just shut off to all of it it's like it's it's like war overload it's like we're at war in the country we're at war in uh, uh politically we're at war a proxy war in ukraine and now we're at another war that we don't necessarily let like half of the population doesn't even agree with yeah yeah over in israel where we're funding two wars plus the two wars here that we're having it's insane. It's man. it's overload, man. It's overload. We just got a COVID too. Like, well, now they got uh, now they got like the uh, quote unquote terrorists like shooting at ships in the Red Sea, like so it's like they're messing with like supply lines and it's, yeah. It, yeah. There's so much insane stuff going on. It's, it's just it's yeah. a lot of it's a lot of death, a lot of tragedy, a lot of just unfortunate, a lot of people killing people, and people are wondering why. An uptick. Never, never mind, man. Never mind. I was gonna get into. I was gonna get into some more conspiracies. I'm not gonna do that. We're not gonna not gonna derail the conversation. Yeah. No. 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 It's fine. But, it's fine. But like. But I'm just saying is that everything happens for a reason. Everything is happening for a reason, and we see what we see because they want us to see it. No, absolutely. But but you also notice that like there hasn't been a lot of news about that. Like you would think about that, the uh, about the guy setting himself on fire. You enough. think that that would have been a bigger news story? Like considering he was like active service military, like it wasn't just like some Joe schmo from wherever did whatever. He's like a member of our military speaking up and doing the thing, right? Like I don't know, man. It's, yeah. Uh, apparently, the family actually released the censored version of the video. Um, I yeah, don't know. He live streamed it. Yeah, he live streamed. I don't know if you've seen any of the of the footage. I saw some pictures, but I didn't see the actual footage. All right, I I will admit that I saw like the uh, the censored version of it. I kind of didn't know what I was looking at at the time. Okay, until it was like, oh, oh, and then you know, I like I didn't watch the whole thing. I like skipped ahead, and then I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And, and then I started learning about what was happening. But yeah, it, it, the family released the, the censor version because apparently, you know, he 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 believed in it. I feel like if he believed that strongly about it, then let him get his message out there in some way. Um, it was very interesting to see the uh, the uh, security guard <laughs> actually with the gun pointed on the guy as he's I mean he's on fire. Oh, I didn't realize they like away. they. Yeah, like two security com- guards come out, and uh, it's very funny how one of them has his gun drawn on the guy. I'm like, I don't. What is think what is he doing? Yeah, what's, he gonna, what's that guy gonna do to you? Yeah, he. It was at that point where he was not gonna say much. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know, man. It's just it's very but, yeah. interesting to like to ha- like like we talk about to be that passionate about something that you'd be willing to set yourself on fire. Imagine if you found that thing. Man. Something something you felt so strongly about, something that you love so much 
an injustice so strong that you were willing to do that? That I can't even I can't even conceptualize that. Like I can't even do it. Like and there's like there's that I don't know if there was that movie where like the guy's kids were playing with bubbles and he was like, I wish I was as happy about anything as my kids are about these bubbles right now. Like it's just like the amount of pure joy or disdain or something that people get to that level of like all I got to say is if this man can give this much of a shit, I don't see why we can't give half. Amen. <laughs> so, all right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecreasetown.com for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.